Hello students, in this video we will solve example 14 from complex numbers, a very important problem, okay. So let us see the question. If x plus iy is equal to a plus iv by a minus iv, prove that x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. To prove that x squared plus y squared is equal to 1, we need to get the value of x and y. So then we can add them together and prove it is equal to 1. So we will try to get the value of x and y from this complex number. Let us pick this, that is a plus ib by a minus ib. What can we do with this? We can rationalize this, yeah, we can rationalize the denominator, that is a plus ib by a minus ib times a plus ib by a plus ib. Here we are rationalizing the denominator. Next, a plus ib times a plus ib is a plus ib whole square. Then, a minus ib times a plus ib. So here a plus ib whole square we can split using this identity. So what we get is a square plus ib whole square plus 2 times a times ib divided by a plus ib and a minus ib is in this form, isn't it? So we'll solve using this identity. So we can write a plus ib times a minus ib in a square minus ib square form. Yeah. We can write in this form so that a plus ib times a minus ib will be a square minus ib whole square. So next, a square, if we split this, it will be i square into b square plus 2aib divided by a square minus ib whole square. If we split this, it will be i square times b square. Next, let us put the value of i square, that is i square is negative 1. Put the value of i square here, that is negative 1. So that it will be a square, negative, positive will be negative and plus 2 times a i b, we can also write it as i times 2 times a times b divided by a square, negative, negative will be positive and a square plus b square. And now we will split it as a square minus b square divided by a square plus b square like this and plus i 2 a b divided by a square plus b square. Can't we split it like this? Yes, we can split it because we have to get it in the form of x plus i y. Now, don't you think this is in the form of x plus i y? This whole term is x plus i and this whole term is y. So, now we got the value of x and y. x is equal to a square minus b square by a square plus b square and y is equal to 2ab by a square plus b square. So, now we can add them together and we have to prove that if we add them, we get the value 1. So x square plus y square is equals to 1. Put the value of x. The value of x is a square minus b square by a square plus b square. And as we have the square here, we put the square here. Then plus y. The value of y is 2ab by a square plus b square. And as we have the square here, we write the square here. Now, after putting the values of x and y, let us simplify further. I can see something common here that is a square plus b square is common here and a square plus b square that is a square plus b square is common in both the terms isn't it so I always tell you whenever you find common take the common outside so the simplification will be much simpler so I find the common terms here so I take the common terms out that is 1 by a square plus b whole square is common so what will remain here is a square minus b square whole square and plus 2ab that is 2ab whole square Next, this is in the form of a minus b whole square. So we can split using this identity. So we'll split this. Here a itself is a square. So a square and this square, another square, we write it here. And plus b square, b, uh, b itself is b square. So the b is b square and another square. So minus 2a square plus b square. We are splitting using this identity. Okay. Uh, so plus 2ab whole square. We can write it as 4a square plus b square. And now we can simplify this like terms. That is negative 2a square into b square plus 4a square plus b square will be plus 2a square times b square. And now we can see here this is again in the form of a plus b whole square. That is a square plus b square whole square. Now if you split a square plus b square whole square using this identity you get this terms isn't it yes so 
So this term we can write it as a square plus b square whole square. Now we can cancel the both terms. The both terms are similar so we can cancel the both term and what we get is 1. So hence proved this is only the answer x plus y. So we proved that x square plus y square is equals to 1. So if you have any questions you can ask me students. You can ask me in comments. Thank you.